What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Auto Guy DIY coming at you on another beautiful day in Southeast Texas. So check me out, man. We got all the four gen stuff that I can do to get it top notch without doing an engine pull or a transmission swap. So we're done with that for now. We're sitting in the third gen today, 03 Ram 1500. So I'm having a starting issue <laughs> with the truck. It just come up last week. So it's been sitting here all week and I, um, I've been driving the Ford Gen to work. So we're gonna jump right into this. I'm already in the truck. So I'm gonna show you the mileage here real quick. You know, I like showing y'all the mileage, 407.659, right? So the issue is when I started, it drags it. You know what I mean? Before it fires right up, it's not normal. So your first thought or my first thought would be a dead battery or your alternator's not charging the battery. So I'm gonna show y'all a quick way to check that. You don't have to have a scan tool like I have. Um, that thing is pretty nifty, but you can go down and buy you a cheap little multimeter. I, I think they sell them for 20 bucks at Walmart. It'll give you the same results. So I got it hooked up. I got me some leads right here. So it's hooked up. I can sit in the truck here. So just sitting here, I have 12.44 volts. Now you're gonna set it on the 20 setting on your volts. This is your volts here. I got it set on 20. The truck shouldn't see anything more than maybe 15. So this is just sitting here. So with the uh, with the battery sitting there at idle all week, it's got 12.44 volts. That's legit. You only need 12 volts to run a car. So that's what's up. Now I'm gonna start it. That lets you know the battery's good that it'll hold a charge and it's taking a charge so now we're going to start it up see how it, when everything turns on it drops some you hear how that starter drug Juh, ju, 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 ju. now you see the volts is going up 14.05 14.1 so that tells you that your alternator is charging because this is about normal from 14 i'll say 14.2 to 15 volts is where it should be charging if it's charging more than that around 16 or 17 volts you have an issue you need to look into because then you're overcharging your system you have to remember this is a 12 volt system so one more time with the mileage let me get y'all close here look at them numbers <laughs> so i'm gonna get out here we're gonna climb out here and under the hood here so like I've told y'all several times, man, these Hemi's, you're gonna check. You wanna check here. You wanna make sure your terminals are good, right? You wanna make sure they're tight. You wanna make sure your wires are good. You always wanna check the connection because once you realize that your alternator's good and your battery's good, your next thought is gonna be, okay, I have a bad starter. So yes, starters go out. But like I have stated, and I'll restate again, when it comes to these Dodges and these Hemi's, they really do love their connections so check all your connections before you jump into spending money right try to fix it for free before you can jump out there i know a starter for this thing is 155 dollars so yes i've replaced one and that's what's up so i was looking and i wasn't expecting so this is your body ground right here now this is a very important ground i've had issues with it before <laughs> and whenever it, i had it right here it broke on this side the little terminal broke right here man the truck wouldn't run it wouldn't start it went downhill quick so i was looking at it i was gonna jump underneath there and look at the starter but then i started looking at this right here and i noticed i don't know if you're gonna be able to pick this up see how that cable's broke in there hopefully that camera will focus so i'm almost 100 percent sure that's gonna be an issue so I'm going to get a little end, another piece of wire right here, and we're going to replace that. And if that, don't, if that doesn't fix the starting problem, then we'll jump underneath it. We'll take a look at that starter. If that's it, we'll replace that. Check me out, man. To insinuate the problem, I loosen this thing up, right? Just to show y'all, man, it's loose, right? So this is how important the grounds are on this truck, especially that one right here. Watch this. See, I got power. I got power. See? Now, I'm going to tighten it back up, and then we'll start the truck. So, look, we got it nice and tight. 
so y'all see this tight i'm gonna come back over here truck will start up see same power that's how important that ground is and since i seen that it was broke and it's got that crack in the wire i'm pretty sure that's going to be the issue on the slow start or the drag on the start i couldn't find my socket so don't knock me i got me a crescent wrench first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this side off so if you have a factory connection this connection will be different on your terminal right so we're going to take this we're going to take it all the way off this is the one that i rigged up like i said i've had this problem before this little clamp broke right here on the seam and it went downhill real quick so i'm just going to screw that back on like so and just leave it i plan on putting it back take this one loosen it up simple 10 millimeter i believe that's a half inch or maybe not even we're going to take this off like so put the bolt back where it belongs so you know where it goes right grab these tools close this hood boom i got y'all set up on the hood of the truck but check this out see how half of that cable's broke plus you also see how it looks real old and corroded so man we're gonna get one we're gonna get two ends we're gonna make one real quick put it back on solve the problem with that being said it shouldn't cost more than 20 bucks to fix if even that and it'll save you from buying a starter and it's something you can go to besides just hey i need a starter or i need a battery or maybe my alternator not charging you can go through the process it'll tell you what you got going on check your wires always check your wires i mean this is the cheapest one of the cheapest fixes you can do all right guys so it's a little later in the day it started raining turned out to be a rainy day all day we need it down here in south texas but hey it makes it hard to shoot a video so i went down man i looked for four gauge wire just like this and some ends i could not find the four gauge wire and the ends i found were real chintzy so i went down to the auto parts i just bought a battery cable it's a one foot battery cable already made up it's already got my eyelets on there um so i went down or i didn't go down so like anything, just like if you was to buy a new battery, you'd clean the terminals before you hooked it up. So I got me some 180 grit sandpaper and I cleaned the ends off on a nice raw surface here for everything to mate to. And I rolled it up nice and tight, you know, just did my little, little hand trick here to get it nice and tight so I could fit it in there. And I did a little reaming on that too, just to get a nice clean surface, a raw surface to mount to. So I will take this out to the truck. We're about to walk out to the truck. It's still kind of sprinkling, but we're gonna get this video done anyway. I wanna clean the mountain surface on the fender, and I wanna kind of clean up that washer in between the bolt and the actual cable. So let's jump out here and finish this video. Man, I'm trying to get it out to you. We made it out to the truck. It's raining a little harder, so I grabbed this bolt, and now I'm sitting inside. So all I did was take my 180 grit. This is, the, this is your fender mount bolt. Let me let me be precise with that so if the the washer doesn't come off right it stays on there that's just how they design it so you don't lose it pretty ingenious but i did want to clean it to give it a good clean and raw surface to mount that new cable to so i just took and folded my sandpaper and just worked it around the edge like that now i didn't get it perfect but i think it'll be good to go so i'm gonna hop under here we're gonna sand that fender mount real quick bolt the cable up and then we can get this thing going and in this video and then that'll be what's up and i have something in store for y'all tomorrow it's a third gen but it's not mine it's a 2005 it's my nephew's and we're gonna handle that too you can see where it mounts to the fender right here i'm just gonna take that same piece of sandpaper i just want to sand it like so I mean, it's the inside of your truck. It shouldn't really matter. I mean, unless you're just that picky. If you are, then just use the corner and just go around like that.
And then there it is. We'll get our rag. Wipe it off. Look at that. Nice, good surface. Clean surface. Raw surface. So now we're going to put this cable on. Give it a start. So we got it all bolted down. Nice and secure here. Nice and secure there. It was a little long, so I just kind of tucked it behind my battery. Not really a big deal. So let's jump in here and start this thing up. See if we can't hear a difference and if that didn't fix my problem like I'm pretty sure it did. Here we go. Hear that? No drag, no nothing. So one more thing I want to note. Before it started with the long drag, with the long dragged out, starting to ju -ju -ju -ju, and then it would pick up and start. I was noticing that my battery gauge here, <laughs> right? So when I turn my AC on, you'll see it go down. And then you'll see it start picking back up. Well, right before that long drag or that slow start started, the gauge when I turned my AC on would go down past halfway and stay there. So that was one indicator. Then it started doing that drag start and I knew what was up or at least I knew I had to get into it and see what it was. So <laughs> I haven't changed the instrument cluster yet. This is still the old one. I will get into that soon. But like I stated a little earlier in the video, I got a third gen coming up tomorrow, fuel pump. So that's what we're getting into tomorrow and that's what's up. But with all that, keep living the dream, doing your thing, like and subscribe, always drop your boy a comment, and I'm rolling out.